Again, we can go into the backstory of the incident with uh, the teenager, Jaws, claiming self-defense that the teenager threw the ball in his face. Uh, we can go into the incident at the mall when he yelled at his security guard. We can go into the incident uh, with the uh, Indiana Pacers traveling party. As far as we know, all of these things have been investigated and no law has been broken. I'm not condoning the behavior. I'm not saying there should be no punishment. There should be. There should be consequences. You are the face of the league. You are representing the NBA. You are a role model to young kids. All of that, I don't think half a season is the right answer. And the last point I want to make, because you bring this up, the, the, the guns on social media. We talk about consequences. Look, in our country right now, gun culture is pervasive. It's pervasive. We've got mass shooting after mass shooting, and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. So I get why we're so sensitive to this right now. But there's no consequence for Greg Abbott telling his constituents that they should go buy more guns. And then we have mass shooting after mass shooting in Texas. There's no consequence for an elected Tennessee official to send out a Christmas card holding AR-15s with his young family. And then there's a shooting in his very district. There's no consequences to that. So why are we, why are we trying to lay down the hammer on a 23-year-old who didn't break a law? Explain that to me. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. And we're back again with another video. As y'all can see, and y'all can see by the title, we're going to go get into a serious video. John Moran did it again, ladies and gentlemen. And at this point, it's just like, Brody, you got to stop with his stupidity. So we know we're going to get we're going to get straight into the video, man. We y'all seeing on live, y'all seeing on Twitter, y'all seeing all over, and a, his parent, his apparent friend, was on live with John Morant in the car, listening to you know NBA Young Boy, and John Morant put out a gun, a quick it was a quick glance, and his friend put put down his phone and. He knew after that what what really what the job did. Listen, y'all. I'm a big fan of John Moran, okay? I'm a big fan of how he plays, you know, his care. I I I think he's a real good person. His character, how he carries himself. I don't know, obviously, I don't know him personally, but I just can tell for how, like, for a fun person he can, he is to be around. But, man, once again, you just can't be making these stupid mistakes, man, especially especially if you already in a great position and you're in a billion-dollar company. You're about to, you was about to get a contract worth almost 200 mil. You didn't. You wasn't going to get it because he didn't make the All NBA team this year. But you already made a mistake before by doing this, and you decided to do it again. Not only that, you betrayed the commissioner. The commissioner. We heard Alvin Silver last night. He felt betrayed, and he felt upset. He felt like you you can't be trusted. I'm not really going to get into the gun law stuff because a lot of these analysts make a lot of great points, as y'all can see in the in the first video, in the first video clip before this video. You know, but I will say this: any suspension they give him. Is granted. It's worthy. Especially after you betray the commissioner. Tell him that you know you not do this again. Basically, you know, 
just lying, lied to his face. Not taking this stuff serious. He literally left you off the hook last time. This time, I won't be surprised he'll, he'll at least be suspended half the season. Do I think that's fair? I'm not the one to decide that. But he should be punished. And he should be punished for a couple reasons. But I would say the, he should be punished for not this reason. You, they're right. He didn't break a law. But what he did is be foolish, stupidity, and betrayal. To not just the commissioner, to all, all his whole teammates, his whole team, his coach, his closest to his family. I don't really care if it's about these so-called friends. These so-called friends are you and your butt in trouble. Maybe these are not really your friends. You really need to stay off social media in general, yo. You really cost yourself millions because of these stupid mistakes, man. For what? And I'm about to get into how he caused these stupid mistakes. See, y'all, we live in a generation, ladies and gentlemen, where even back then, we're all influenced by music. We're all influenced by music. Me, myself. But it... It's the difference between being influenced in a good way and in a bad way. What kind of influence does this music do to you? You see what I'm saying? We got all these artists out here. It depends on who you listen to, who is giving you good knowledge. And also who is putting, who is just giving you bad knowledge and, and bad vibes. And just getting your butt in trouble. I've never been a fan of NBA boy, young boy. I, I don't, anybody that's a fan, congrats to you. you. You can have it. His music to me is not great. But for anybody else, they, his music is great. But John Morant is so influenced by NBA young boys so bad that his, it really is making him NBA, him, it really is making him NBA dumb boy. Because... All the NBA young boys talk about is shooting guns and, and, and smashing women. Really all he talk about. So that kind of influence is getting in John Morant's head. And it really is really costing his, him his career. So John Morant, you have decisions to make, man. Because I'm not going to lie, this might be your last shot. This might be your last chance. Before you, unfortunately, before you might be out of the league. If you keep making these stupid mistakes. You need to put that, you need to either switch with your music genre. Stop listening to NBA Youngboy. Or switch, with, switch to friends you have. Because... I'm not going to really go into his friends because that might be his homies from all back in the day. I'm just saying, they know better to get on live and do that. It's a choice both of them made. It's a choice for him to, your friend, to get on live with you. And it was definitely a choice for you to pull out a gun while you bumping, boom, bump, 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 bump. You bump him NBA young boy. For what? What was that for? These two incidents have cost you millions. They have cost you, obviously, almost a season, basically, at this point. And they, they might cost you your career. So, John Moran, please stop making these mistakes. You got to look at yourself in the mirror, bro. Caution your career over stupidity. Foolish stuff. And I'm not even going to get into your family and say, where, no. 
Cause that I have no idea what you, you and your family going through. Your dad would probably be there the whole time. I don't know. I'm just saying this is you. You're a grown you're a grown ass man. You need to stop this man. You need to look at yourself in your mirror and look at the people you're really disappointing. And get back to what you really love to do was play basketball. Because this is not it, man. It's not it. And I, I hope, I pray you seek help. I pray you 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 get back to what like you said, get back to what you love to do and, and being the person that you, you everybody knows you to be. Everybody makes mistakes, man. We all do. Nobody, absolutely nobody's perfect. But the last, the, the last incident, this wasn't a mistake. This was just a choice. You gotta make better choices. Uh, again, you're not gonna know. You're not gonna know who I am. But this is everybody else telling you this. We love you, John Moran. You gotta be better. Any kind of suspicion they give you is worthy. That's all I got to do for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm out, y'all.